Baton Rouge. Time for a winner take all game seven. And it is between in state or to win earlier today. They did in fine fashion, seven four. To it's hard to lift it out of this ballpark. So not only do you like this match. Jordan Campbell is in, in the seven spot. Davis has already stolen 50 bases this season. M and Auburn, a hitting guru, as Maya Davis flares it fair down the left field line. Big turn by Davis. And she's going to hold right there with a leadoff single. Base off of Burzon. This is over towards second. Could be two. Petty throws it away. Davis moves to third and runners on the corners. Evan in five. And already today has. That's how important that error could be. Got away from Newland. Davis easily scampers home. Kotzelnik stays at second. And it is all. Such clean defense. You cannot give a team like. And missed on 3 2. Just barely, but it's ball four, according to Robbie Guest. Robbie Guest was also behind the plate for the first LS. And a four pitch walk to Lauren Allred to load the bases. Missed through that drop ball. That was her off speed drop, but the patience, you're seeing the adjustment happening. The 2 1 is a high chopper over to Petty. Goes to first for one, and that is all they will get as Kotzelnik crosses the plate. And Louisiana has. Used to seeing that power from her, but. Langoliers hit up. And Langoliers draws the walk. So three have reached base on the base on balls in the last. From Texas AM before last year where she was named Sunbelt Newcomer of the Year. Rachel Lawson's Kentucky program. 1-1 one, one is driven. Deep left field, fair, it's gone. And it's off of the foul pole. Grand slam. So Cajuns are running wild in Baton Rouge. On plane and trusting your timing. Bounces off the foul pole, and that, my friend, is a grand slam. The first. Lee Cruel. Victoria Valdez is hit, goes down to first, and now Louisiana has batted around. These home run swings at home run power, you are just one swing away. 0 2 is bounced over towards second, Petty to Pleasant's one. And not in time to get Hayden. And that is still only the second position. Mai Davis once again right at Gutierrez. And so for LSU, the top of the first mercifully comes to an end. Louisiana so good. They have a deep bullpen. Carly Heath is probably maybe their third or fourth best out of. From the first game, came into the day. Coffee bounces over towards short. Langoliers quickly up with it for out number one for the Ragin' Cajuns in game one of the day. Sierra Briggs, opposite way, Langoliers again. Not easy to get Coffee and Briggs back to back. Well, you certainly can't blame them being down a half dozen after three outs are recorded. Pleasance bounces to second and gobbled up by Vasquez. That is exactly how you want to follow up a six at Tiger Park. Stormy Kotzelnik steps in and bounces one pitch, one out. Over to Gutierrez. That has got to feel good. Or up and down the lineup throughout. She's coming in as a defensive replacement. Looking at a Louisiana game as that one bounces in the hole left side and through. But he knows exactly what he's doing more often than not. Along with six women's college World Series appearances. But as a... 0-2 reaches for it, poked out towards center field, and that's where Briggs hauls it in the SEC all-defensive team member for this. But then you start off this last inning just going one, two, three. Right at Gutierrez. She has been busy over there at first, and maybe that's the momentum that El Shell shot. Yeah, shell shot is a good word for it. And if they're going to try to turn this in the back of the batter's box. Clark delivers deep left field and forget about it. 
to jolt into Tiger Park. They're on the board. Off of the bat, look at that back foot. She normally stays more middle to the plate and decides that she... They're pep back in their step. Georgia Clark did just that. Allie Newland rips it. That one to right field that's going to stay in the park, though. That got everyone excited. And with a triple and a home run in her weekend. Got her on the 2-2. Pulled the string and rooted him down on strikes. First K of the... Followed her up, throwing over 80 pitches. Thought maybe it was going to be Kendra. 0-2 is flown to shallow left field. It's Langoliers called off by Hayden. And the left fielder puts it away. Point up against the pitcher. Pleasance just in time to get her counterpart, Langoliers. Who beat you yesterday. Run advantage. Campbell has already driven in. 2-2, a couple of hops over to Penny to her left, and she fields and fires in time. Now four in a row retired by Sydney Bird. Senior just graduated yesterday after. That's off of the glove of the third baseman, and the throw not in time. You might never know. High fly, deep left field, Hayden back, and she makes the play to her left. And Stewart retreats. Coffee on base. It's almost like that one-two punt. They're going to want some of that right now. Briggs. Bunts foul. A hold of Phil, and she did. 0-2 is bounced over to short. It's off the glove of Langoliers and skirts into center. And the seat has had a great time here in Baton Rouge this weekend. Swinging a drive up the middle, base hit. Stewart around third. She's going to score. Pleasance advances to second. Above that rise ball. Right. Maya Davis, the center fielder, tries to get the ball in, but not in time. LSU just changed up her windup from Saturday to today because the tip should have the opportunity to score and cut into this four run dip. Base it up the middle, one run scores. Taylor Pleasants around third without a throw. It's a two run single for George. The Tigers are alive and well. Going with the drop back. ball outside corner. Doesn't have to do too much, just enough to score two runs. Now, I am trying to slow the pace down, slow that energy down from. 3 1 is low and away. Man, you would think they tied the game the way for Mackenzie Rudity. Into left field. Hayden won't get there. It splits the gap. It goes all the way to the wall. One run scores. Newland's in. It back up. Two run double to tie this game. Option at this point. Yeah. Hardest thrower in the bullpen as well. Comes in 68. Including on the shortstop Langoliers allowing Briggs to reach. That would have been the... And the 2-2 is bounced. That's in the hole right side. The go-ahead given to Rudity. She's in there. Throw gets away. Your opponent going six runs up. And you just pour it on. Every single batter, every single hitter being able to. Batter in three tries. And then Lamb giving up the rid. 0-1 is flown. Left field. Hayden in. And she mercifully puts it away for Louisiana shoes here, Francesca. I mean, what are you doing to refocus mentally? Got her on the 0-2. Berzon went off speed that at bat. And also a top 25 finalist for National Freshman of the Year. Maya Davis won for... And that's just outside. The Women's College World. Maybe put some runners in motion. I like the idea of a hit and run. 
There she goes. The throw is not there. Maya Davis now has the overall lead team this weekend with three doubles and a home run. She bounces it over to Coffee though, went down to get it and the throw across the diamond in plenty of time. And then if anybody reaches Taylor Pleasant who ignited that rally, we talked about Georgia Clark with an up the middle to score a run. This one's up the middle once again into the bread basket of Vasquez and delivered to first in time to all red is the red of Louisiana. It's gonna be a tough play for Langoliers, but she does make it just in time to get the speedy coffee. Game seven. The team that needs to win to force it has... 2-2 Two -two is lifted over to short and just out of the leaping try of Langoliers. Briggs advances to second and dives in safely. Very best to get to it. Briggs is in. She's excited. That is a hustle. Fourth. And the payoff is in the hole right side. Briggs coming around third. She'll score easily. Pleasant's into second as the throw gets her. Outside pitch as long as it gets into the outfield and is able to play another LSU run. And this insurance run all come. Has found her swing. And I think you just saw why, not just from her home runs and her doubles, but how she is playing into this Tiger crowd. It's her first intentional walk. And they are just one out away from trying to silence that. You have runners at first. Two, two, a cut and a miss. And that will silence the faithful in purple and gold. But Elodie Brazan has really settled into this game, even though they tagged her for six runs in the first. Has not given up any other runs. First pitch swinging, Allred lifts it into shallow left center, and that's Briggs for the first down. And I to second base, that on a yes, but she's able to get that first strike. Two one hammer to deep center field. Briggs gives it a look, and it's way gone. It's Carly Heath's second of the weekend, 16th on the year. And Louisiana creeps one closer. Right in the power alley for someone like Carly Heath. Leads this team in home runs. So when she has a pitch that is right down the middle, she's not going to let it go. If you are going to challenge a hitter like Heath inside, you cannot. 84th this season. And that's over the head of Petty and into right. The tying run is on here in the fifth. Ends up in the first inning. Why not continue to... 2-2 Two -two is right back off of Brazon. She knocks it down and throws Campbell out at first. Calls Crater an SEC caliber bat. And we have seen that so... Two on Crater. Two outs. Runner on second. Count on and missed! Now someone that's going to be in the mid-60s, she can spin it pretty well. But... Rudity rips it to right. And it's on a short hop into the glove of Campbell. And so the leadoff. It in front. 0-1 is bunted. Valdez picks it up and throws to first. It's not in time. They tested the new coming all the way up and then trying to go all the way back down. Savannah Stewart bounces it over to third. Langley's charges and throws and just in time. Not even sure she got a. If she's able to bury one into the ground. That's probably what happens. 2 0 is right back to Riazeno. That's not going to get it done though as she floats the throw over to first and all red snares it. For Otzelnik are all due in a game that began as a but they got to face off each other in the regionals one two off the end of the bat squibber to second and petty gets it to gutierrez for out number one if jammed burzon to first to get davis the number two that's six run inning for louisiana and that is in the hole on the right side, and it scoots through. Tying run is on base for the Raging Cajuns. The one-two. High chopper to Coffey, who handles and throws. 
And that does it in the top of the sixth for Louis. And huge for Sydney Burzon getting Sophie Piscos to ground out. That second one in. 0-2, over to third, booted by Valdez, and she has no play. That should be the fifth error. On Anna scored those six runs. That was started by an error. Payoff Chander, and this is Langoliers. One away in the sixth. Home run and a two-run single. In that take. Popped her up on 3-2, though. This is in play for Allred, and she's got it for the second out. B went into that was the words that she had for Mike Thibodeau when she was... Six hours ago. Newland rips it. Center field for Davis as she comes in a few steps and makes the play. Princes. And can Sophie Burzon change it up, or Sydney Burzon that is, as that one is flown into left field on the first pitch, and Lauren Allred already is to capture the Baton Rouge Regional. Win. The 0-1 is into right field. That's down for a base hit. Allred pulls up into second. And now the tying and go ahead. Bunt attempt on 0-2, Coffee picks it up and fires, and they get the out. Excellent sacrifice right there, and they are going to put her on. That's a strike, and it gets away. We are tied. Walk right here for Newland, and it crosses the plate, goes right down the middle. Came out. Jordan Campbell rips it into right center field, and Louisiana has the lead. Of the situation when you are three outs away as a by a long shot. Nobody could have predicted this. Pleasant's a check of the runner, and she gets Valdez for out number two. A lot of classics in this LSU Louisiana series. Yeah. Tigers ready, and the 0-2 is flown out to shallow center field. And tracked down in right by Rudity. Do it. Seven, eight, nine for the Tigers. Two, two, lifted up the middle. Davis has it for out number one. And that all in. Even Carly Heath. Yeah. It's Riazetto that has it. High pop. Left side foul. Ground. Langoliers holds it in. Lifted down the left field line. Hayden on the run. And she's got it. Louisiana's biggest rival, LSU. Break for Bet Torina and the Tigers. They are denied a trip to this. It is the end of the road for LSU and Louisiana plays on. Put a ball on it after game seven in Baton Rouge with Louisiana's one.